What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I'm going to show you how to work with Premiere Pro and Adobe Sound Booth. So we're going to go over the workflow and let's get started. Um, I have two files in here that I import into my project. I have one um, that is an MPEG and I have another audio file. So I'm just going to bring the MPEG onto the timeline here. And as you see, it's the video and also the audio associated with it. Now to start off, I can right click on the audio and I can hit edit in uh, Adobe Sound Booth and the render and replace means that I'm going to click it right now but the render and replace is going to do is it's going to open up Sound Booth and then let me edit the audio there and then I can save it and when I save it in Sound Booth it's going to update the audio track in uh, Premiere Pro you know this is a really convenient way of editing audio especially if you don't want to do it directly in Premiere Pro so I'm going to let Adobe Sound Booth open up here. And as you see, I have some options over here on, um, on the editing timeline here in Adobe Sound Booth. And maybe what we should do is I'll just do what a fade in would be. And then what a fade out would be. And this is in Sound Booth. Now I'm going to go to File, Save. And there's a lot of other things you can do in Adobe Sound Booth, but I'll do that in another tutorial. And it's updating down here, it's updating the audio. And that's one way of editing the audio via Sound Booth. Then the next thing you can do is you can bring in um, another track here. And you see in this track where there's no um, audio levels here, it's just a wave. If I right click on that wave, edit in Adobe Sound Booth and this time I can edit the source so since I import the audio in a separate file I can edit the source file again we can do a fade in and a fade out and the only reason I'm doing that is just to change the audio file and if I want to I'll come here and go save and what it just did was it updated the source file but if I come back to Premiere it also updates the actual track here and that's the workflow with Premiere Pro and Adobe Sound Booth.